My name is Mr. Heyman, and I'm one of the teachers at Centerville High School Theater. And today I'm going to give you a tour of our theater spaces and highlight some of the opportunities that are available at Centerville High School for you as a theater student. Enjoy! The Centerville City Schools Performing Arts Center is located at the back of the CHS campus. It's the home to CHS performing arts groups, band, choir, dance, orchestra, and theater. The PAC is in use nearly every day of the entire year, whether that's CHS organizations performing on stage, other groups within our district hosting concerts or the Kids View Art Show, or community organizations who bring concerts and programs from outside. Here we are on the PAC stage, and if an actor is here, it must be close to opening night. Typically, we rehearse in Central Theater in the Central Unit, and then once it comes close to showtime during Tech Week, we move everything into the PAC. That process starts with load-in, where we bring in the set, and then we run cues, and we integrate costumes, and hair, and makeup, and microphones, and have a few dress rehearsals before it's time to bring the show to an audience. This is the theater office. It's located in the lobby of the Performing Arts Center. And this is where you'll come to take a look at information that's posted on the call board, or to pick up handouts from the office ledge, or to turn in forms or fees to the PAC drop box. Inside the PAC office is where Mr. C and I are during lunch. So if you need to stop by to ask a question, this is where we'll be. The PAC office also has the CHS script library. So if you're looking for something to read for fun or a monologue to prepare or a song selection, uh, this is where you'll come to check out scripts. The PAC office is your stop for any questions that you have. So if you need some information about a show or about being involved in theater, or you just wanna ask some questions about being involved, uh, stop by to talk to Mr. C or to me. And your first question is probably, uh, what kind of smoothie is Mr. Heyman drinking? The answer is watermelon. This is the stage right wing, which is home to some of our run crew during the show. Our run crew members are busy moving scenery, whether it's by hand or using the fly system behind me. Run crew members start off in set build, helping to build everything, get it all ready. Then they participate in load-in, where the set is brought out onto the stage. And then when it's time for tech week, people who are available and reliable um, and have had good attendance at set build are asked to be part of the run crew where they make the show happen. This is our costume shop. And this is where students come to work on costumes after school, whether that's constructing them or adapting them or fitting them to actors. Just like with set build, you don't need to have any experience to be part of costuming. Just show up and you'll learn the skills that you need, whether that's learning to sew by hand or to take measurements or to read a pattern or to operate a sewing machine. To get to the costume shop, just come to the PAC lobby and take the stairs up and you'll find us here every day after school. Schedules will be announced once we're ready to start working. We're up in the booth now, all the way in the top of the Performing Arts Center at the back of the balcony. And here in the booth, the stage manager calls the cues for the show. Now during our rehearsal, the stage manager will help with organizing, with attendance, keeping track of the blocking and the script, assisting the actors and the director. But once it comes time for the show, the stage manager is up here in the booth running the whole operation. Uh, he or she will sit here with a headset and call the cues for the show. A stage manager has to be not only a good leader and very organized, but really good at paying attention to things, focusing on the details, um, and multitasking. Hold on, I've got a cue. Stand by, light cue four. Standing. Light cue four, go. Stage managers usually start off as assistant stage managers at Centerville Theater, where they can learn the ropes, get to know the processes, and then maybe advance on to becoming a stage manager. This is the console at the center of the PAC house, 
where the light board operator, soundboard operator, and sound effects operator run the cues for the show. The stage manager relays the cue down from the booth as he or she is watching, and the operator is ready to hit the button when it's time for the cue. Students typically get to these positions by starting off at set build or as part of our technical theater classes, and then they're selected based on their availability, their attendance, and their reliability. They have to be able to focus on the show and to listen for their cues so that they can push that button when the time is right. This is the CHS Theater Scene Shop. It's the classroom for our technical theater program. And if you're taking a theater class, your schedule probably says Central 199. That's the scene shop. It's also where our after school set building happens. When you come to set building after school, you'll be introduced to the student technical director and perhaps to some other leaders like a master carpenter or a scenic charge. And those folks are in charge of assigning tasks and um, helping to teach you the skills that you're going to need to be successful at set build. You don't need any skills to be a part of set build. You can just show up. Um, so don't worry if you've never used tools before or if you've never held a tape measure or if you've never painted. You'll learn all of those things while you're here. A lot of what we do at set build, as I've said before, is repetition. So you learn as you go and you repeat it and you repeat it and you repeat it again so that it becomes part of who you are. And that makes things really easy and it makes the process go very smoothly. Um, so yeah, set build happens after school. Um, you do not have to be here every day. If you're only available on certain days or if you're coming from a, a, another meeting or from a different session, um, totally fine. Set building is very flexible. It's a great opportunity to get to know our program uh, and to meet lots of really cool people. If you do want to be a part of set build, remember to bring closed toed shoes with you and some clothes that you don't mind working in, especially for painting. That way, if you do get paint on you, it's not going to be that great of a loss. We are now in the Theater Design Lab, or TDL, South 182. This is a flexible theater space that we use for whatever we need, whether that's a classroom space to sit down and uh, do some drafting or some designing or watch a video or a spot to have a short, small rehearsal. This is where we do our makeup for shows. It's where we have small meetings. Uh, it's where officers gather to talk about plans. The TDL is just a, a nice, flexible spot that we can use for whatever we might need or whatever ideas are coming our way. The TDL. The Performing Arts Center lobby is a wide open space. Besides being the spot where you come to go see a show inside the house, the lobby is also a space where we have class if we need a wide open area for acting activities or to be able to spread out to work independently. The lobby is also where we have uh, rehearsals when we are not in the central theater. And it's the location of our monthly stage club meetings, our student drama club that runs service events and social events and their own student produced show, which is a production run designed, directed, acted entirely by students. Theater isn't theater without an audience. In theater, we call the place where the audience views the performance, the house. Now, everybody always wants to know, where are the best seats? So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Front row, bad seat. Back row, bad seat. Way off on the side, bad seat. Here's the bottom line. If a show starts at 7.30, don't show up at 7.30. Make sure you arrive in enough time to take care of your tickets, to look through the program, and to settle into the world of the show from a seat that you chose in a really good spot. Usually the best seats are right in the middle, where the sound is the best, 
and you can see the whole picture of the stage. Like from this view, right here in seat H26. Our next stop is to the orchestra pit, which is actually underneath the PAC stage. It has a cover on top of it, so when we're using this for a musical, we take the cover off, but otherwise it gives us more acting space when there isn't a group of musicians underneath. Now this orchestra pit is underneath the stage, but really the orchestra pit is anywhere that the musicians are playing, whether that's here in the pit or backstage or in an area on stage or even in another location like a hallway or in the scene shop. Musicians who want to be a part of our pit orchestra usually are members of our band and orchestra programs. Alrighty, everybody, we've made it to our next destination, a spot that's tucked away up high at the top of the Performing Arts Center. This is Narnia, and this is where we store all of our props and costumes from previous shows. Now, sometimes we don't need to keep something around, but lots of times we keep it in stock because you never know when you're going to need certain glassware or a lamp or a weird piece of furniture, uh, something that might be kind of unusual or something that you might not find every day because it's maybe not made anymore or it's an antique. We keep those things in stock so that we have them when we need them. And if we don't have it, we make it. That's what theater artists do. We're either pack rats or we're creating. Same thing goes for costumes. When it comes to costuming, our team starts by looking at what we already have in Narnia. So maybe there are coats that we need, or dresses, or hats, or gloves, or skirts, or shoes, or all sorts of items that we can start with. And just like when it comes to props, if we don't have it, we make it. Or maybe there's a certain look that a show needs. And so we create something original, something new, just for the stage. Isn't this cool? That's the end of our tour, but be sure you check out the Centerville High School Theater website for other information and details about being involved in our program. Whether you're on stage, backstage, or in the audience, we look forward to seeing you here.